Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about a add-on for Houdini, which for me so far has been the best add-on I've ever added to Houdini. It makes Houdini really fast to work with. You can import your mega scans in a really easy way. You can save note snippets. It's, you know, Houdini has all the flexibility in the world, but sometimes it compromises a bit of out of the box, easy to work with tools like MoGraph has, for example. Uh, but with this, you can actually bridge the two quite well. So you have the full flexibility of Houdini, but you just have a couple of tools that set up things for you quite quickly, quite easily. It makes your life easier, let's jump right in and explore it. So in Houdini, let's jump straight into the OD tools and check it out. So the main bit is the asset library. I think asset libraries, I feel they're more like a general 3D thing nowadays than anything specific to this tool, uh, but it's super useful. There's just a ton of tools that you can check out. To be honest, the main feature I use is the asset library and the snippet manager. So let's check those out. So basically in this manager, you can select different folders. I uh, link this to my mega scans. And for example, if I go to the 3D plant, all my plants show up here. Now, the only thing I have to do is I just double click it. I say I want to use Redshift, that's my render engine. I could use Matura X as well. And this will work in Solaris as well if, if, if you have more of a Solaris kind of workflow. So let's just Redshift and now we go in and let's move this out of the way. And you can see we have a plant here. The nice thing what OD Tools does as well is it makes automatic OpenGL previews for you. So normally when you render with Redshift, you don't get the preview of the texture like straight away uh, but the OD tool sets it up for you so it's really really nice really happy with that and yeah it just creates a really quick sub network of your mega scans files it creates a material network here it does all the automatic redshift stuff <laughs> like displacement the only thing I found is that usually I feel you need displacement values between minus 0.5 and 0.5 um, so by the very big off chance the maker of OD tools is watching this <laughs> that will be a great improvement other than that yeah it kind of just works straight out of the box we can just open up a render view and grab our camera quickly so this works with other things as well so if we want to have a floor just drop down a grid it's for our radio menus drop it down here and basically now let's get into surfaces in the mega scans folder here you have all kinds of materials you may want to use. So for this, I could use a pine needle floor, for example. And the nice thing, you can either drag this in and it will drop it into your material network, or if you already have a material node laid down here, it will automatically assign it as well. So you can say, okay, how do I want to link it? UV or triplanar? I'm going for UV this time. And again, I want to use Redshift. And then uh, it should be all working. You can see here, it dropped it down the material network. We now we now have a material pine needles there. If we open our preview, we can see it's doing something, but not a lot because we're missing UVs. And now you can see already in the preview that it's a bit big <laughs> for our needs, but we can just scale down our UVs and make it like a lot smaller. It works with lights as well. So you can say RS light dome, drop down that. Let's open up the OD tools again, asset library. And you yeah, have some HDRs that are collected online and it works quite quick as well. Let me open up my render view and you can see if I now assign the Barcelona rooftops, it instantly just works. It's a bit dark for this particular scene, but you can always bump up the brightness. You can see within a couple of clicks, we have a scene. <laughs> it's not that fantastic, but you know, we can really easily drop down lights can easily drop down these materials on the floor. I can import models, it's all very quick. So another awesome feature this toolset gives is the reference manager. So basically if you come up to OD tools, reference manager, here it shows all the references. So all the assets you use in the project. And so say for example, if you wanna render this out on the render farm, anything like that, you can just really easily here say localize files and it then asks you where you want it to localize it to, to your hip or your dollar job or a custom folder. And you just say hip, uh, context type, say image, and that's it. Now it's local, it's dollar hip texture, and it just makes it so much easier, especially when you have big projects. So that's another really, really, really useful feature for this. 
All right, and then the last thing I want to show you for this tool is how you can save notes. This is incredibly useful, I think. So basically, say if there's a certain geometry workflow you always use, like you remesh uh, geometry and then you add an auto UV and you add a material and then you add a null for good organization, out object. So say this is a note tree you quite often use, then now you can really easily save that. So basically go to your OD asset library and create a folder with presets. Uh, I've created this one. Select all your nodes and then just say, save selected nodes as asset to library. You want to save the collection unless it's an individual node. And then you can just say my, my geo workflow. Okay. Save to as OD zip nodes. And basically now we can delete these and we can just add it to here. And if we align these now, you can see we have all our notes ready and it just makes your life so much easier. So yeah, that was it. Just a quick overview of this amazing tool set. Uh, I'm not sponsored, I have to say. Uh, I literally have like 300 subscribers, so it feels weird saying this even, but I'm not sponsored. If you want to get it, you can just go over to origamidigital.com. And that's it for this week's tutorial. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next one.